a very good afternoon to all welcome to tally ca connect and uh, you all must have uh, definitely received the news of the newest offering that is tally prime 4.2 and i'm sure many of you here have already attended our launch event so now we are organizing the series of webinars so that it is easier for you and from the our product experts so that you can actually see what problem you are getting in 4.0 or you need any special use cases defined so we have with us avichi sorry my cam okay so we have with us uh, avichi sir we are very grateful that avichi sir has taken out time from his very busy schedule Avichi sir is a tax consultant. He is a consultant for taxation and accounting, and has taken over eight hundred plus trainings. And the number is increasing every day. <laughs> so we would like to say that uh, today we have uh, he do he has been doing four point zero sessions from the very beginning of the launch. Even before the launch, he was there to showcase the product. So today we will. Uh, take the make the most of his time and uh, over to you abhishek sir let us begin okay <clears throat> thank you uh, I, i can introduce myself as uh, uh, or my journey with uh, tally uh, simply as dss 4.0 till tally prime 4.0 many of us know what is dss or das based 4.0 I started my career with Tally uh, right from uh, DSS, uh, DAS based 4.0. Now I am in Tally Primes release 4.0. So I am the proud uh, uh, <clears throat> ardent follower of Tally for all these years, right from 1996 to 2023, roughly about uh, uh, 27 years. I am with Tally. All these 27 years. Tally made me to celebrate all its releases. Now the question is, in what way release 4.0 is making me to celebrate the uh, release? Right. Okay. So let me answer it in my own way. Hope you know our uh, many of you. One. One. Yeah. Uh, Komal, am I audible now? Is it clear now? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, Better some know. network issue was there even when I was talking. So uh, I okay. think it's working fine. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, many of you may might notice the uh, date of release. It was released on twelve twelve two thousand twenty three. South Indians know the speciality of twelve twelve two thousand three or twelfth twelfth December. Okay. The speciality is uh, superstar Rajinikant was born on that date. 12 so i used to claim release 4.0 as superstar of tally or superstar in the world of softwares okay right <laughs> so uh, normally what the superheroes will do superheroes uh, will do two important things in the in the cinema one uh, singing any uh, duet with the heroine number two fighting with the old villain okay these two are the important things of any any superhero that's how if tally released any normal releases right that release that leads to or the release that caters to any taxation matters we used to call those releases as compliance release this release release 4.0 is a totally non compliance release what is non compliance release by the way non compliance release will not touch or will not deal with any of the taxation matter or statutory matters this 4.0 is a totally non compliance release as of rajinikanth's 150th movie swami raghavendra okay in that movie rajinikanth was unable to sing any song with the heroine or unable to fight with any of the villains because raghavendra swami ji doesn't have uh, didn't have any villains at all okay all of uh, all of uh, uh, the uh, all of us are his devotee okay so this release 4.0 is also like rajinikanth's 150th movie is a total non compliance movie now the question from audience right what is this uh, dialogue or caption of this superhero so let me share my screen and uh, <clears throat> show you what is the uh, dialogue of the superhero okay so let me share my uh, as uh, komal told i was prepared with the material for release 
this is my uh, developed by myself okay or this is the humble dedication to tally and the tally uh, learners right okay or tally seekers don't worry at the end of this i'll, I'll request homal to uh, share it with all of all of you okay so the material at the end of the session the material will be in your hands so you can use it you can share it with your friends okay so if you have if you found any mistakes uh, then let me give my number so at the end of the session then you can uh, make me to uh, uh, <clears throat> note my mistakes and then i let me correct this okay now the question is krishnan what the superhero is dialogue in this movie or punch dialogue in this movie the punch dialogue is in three right okay connect automate and visualize okay what these three uh, words are golden words um, uh, denote to okay connect refers to connect your business with whatsapp business platform okay so automate refer to automate your accounts or import data from any kind of excel any kind of excel okay then import data from excel to tally okay this is the second point the third point visualize your business you are doing business but are you looking at it with the with the uh, special uh, focus on it okay it's a million dollar question many of us are doing business but are we looking at the mis reports keenly are we looking at the necessary things and are we taking the necessary steps that's a million dollar question okay so again let me repeat the superhero now humbly speaks a fantastic dialogue the dialogue is connect automate and visualize okay right now let's start the movie so far i i ran the trial trailer okay let's start the movie and get into one each part of this movie or go behind every dialogue of the superhero and let's celebrate the superhero uh, with its uh, ma, the uh, ma, its full uh, ma, strength okay so let me take you to first because many of us are from uh, consulting field or many of us are from uh, auditing or many of us are from uh, advisory capacity so let me take more of your time or let me focus more on excel import then to whatsapp and, and then to dash, dashboard this is how let me slightly change the syllabus so that we could concentrate on the necessary things uh, uh, with more time okay so let me uh, take you to the excel import okay one, one minute so I, i'll take you to the right way, place and then uh, i'll show you the excel import okay so my uh, book second part or this chapter second part is dealing with excel import let me take you to excel import okay right okay so now the question is who needs this facility that's a million dollar question okay who needs this facility many of our clients are dealing with mncs many of our clients are in the chain network of a business many of our clients are in franchise network if it so please understand those mncs or principals will give them a legacy software okay so they need to maintain stock inventory and then accounts in the legacy software primarily let's take one example suppose my one of my client is a automobile dealer dealing with hyundai spare parts and hyundai cars if it so please understand hyundai mando steering and hyundai's subsidiaries will give them a legacy software that may be a sap or sap oriented something okay so they have to maintain accounts inventory and everything in that particular sap okay so that the principal will easily come to know what is the stock position when the stock need to be dumped again okay so when when they need to pay how many cars are required what are all the sales orders pending what are all the purchase orders pending this is how the principals can get reports then and there so easily okay like so this is how many are traveling in two or many are riding on two horses the horse number one the legacy software that they need to or that they ought to report okay so that that's supplied by their principal or some of the their uh, leaders or their business owners but if they submit all the reports in sap 
all the reports in some other accounting software no their chart accountants may not be convenient with that reports or may not be confident on the softwares or some of the softwares the chart accountants or the tax consultants might not know how to operate them so in india or in the world obviously 80% of the people are behind tally we know the reason why all the rats are behind the back paper okay right so the reason is simple the tally is powerful okay so user friendly tally caters all your taxation need and your business that's why many rats are behind the back paper okay so if this is the case please remember on day to day basis or at least on every weekend or month end the customers need to import their data uh, export their data from the legacy software and then import it to tally okay right so far the customers did it in two ways way number 1 they used to develop an interface or tdl by <coughs> paying their service partners tally partners okay so that the tdl will serve them to get the data from the legacy software and it will import it to tally the other way the legacy software is ready to give the data in excel format okay later the party can buy uda magic or these kind of interfaces the ready made interfaces readily available interfaces with that interface they people can transfer the data to tag okay anyway these two are little cumbersome or you cannot simply say these two are hassle free ways or means okay so further for these two the people those who purchase tally need to pay extra either on monthly basis or on the yearly basis to the third parties and then the dependency on the third party is also an important thing okay so you have to consider <coughs> please remember wherever there is an issue tally used to remove those issues and tally used to render services to those people okay or tally used to give them a hassle free solution that's how release 4.0 came up with a fantastic solution the fantastic solution is import data from excel on your own never ever depend on any of your tally partner any of your any of the third party software any of the tdl provider nothing nothing okay right so if you know bit of excel if you know bit of tally that's more than enough okay right okay right so uh, many of us may not believe krishnan at this time i don't know i don't know okay but please remember when i when i'm going to give you the step by step solution no right your confidence level will get increased at the end of the session i may take 20 30 minutes of yours at the end of the session i promise that all of you can easily import data from excel to tally quite easy okay right so i am going to start the magic now okay the magic is go for, going to happen at the end of 20th month okay don't worry sit relaxedly as if you are in a cinema theater or as if you are in a music concert right listen listen to me right okay i'll i'm going to give you step by step things right okay at the end of this you will feel comfort and you can easily transfer okay right so now the question is sir i know tally right or i know excel is there any standard format in excel no yeah no yeah none of us can say is a standard there, there is a standard format in excel one can put the details on column one may put the details on the row okay right so there is no standard format now the question is if you ask me to import data from excel to tally can you suggest any standard format so that i can easily follow that format no okay right it's a it's a easy way it's a easy way. okay right so suppose if i am moving with someone suppose i am sitting next to uh, one okay in the flight okay i could easily ask him okay sir are you a vegetarian or a non vegetarian if we are going on a international travel i can simply ask him are you a, are you a social drinker okay if he said no i could reserve one round for me 
okay sir can you get that uh, uh, art or uh, beer for me so that i can enjoy okay so this is the questions could be easy if you know the the, uh, the opponent part okay so the same way i am asking one simple question to tally mr tally you ask me to transfer data to tally no can you just suggest me a standard format with which i can easily transfer the data okay a fantastic question the easy question too okay right so how to ask this question to tally right so let me open tally 4.0 let me open tally 4.0 let me open any company okay any of my company okay suppose this is the company okay so let me open the company okay right r oh, one right so let me open a company this is a uh, company compiled by, by us with imaginary data or data of two three uh, companies compiled okay then then we gave a username and password so as to um, uh, keep this as a uh, the, the original data okay or uh, we can give you the near real time scenario okay that's how we planned okay myself and komal planned it that way okay right so i hope it's, it it worked out in a nice way okay now the question is krishnan i am trying to export import something from excel i don't know the format of excel okay can you just suggest me how to get the standard format don't worry click on import click on import click on manage okay sample excel file tab is there option is there click on sample excel file okay so please remember there are two important things one is the master another one is the transaction right for the sake of any one who didn't even know what is master and transaction let me explain it a bit okay <clears throat> suppose i am giving 1000 rupees to komal okay right now the transaction involves two party one is krishnan who is giving the another one is komal one is getting okay so please remember now komal and krishnan are two masters now the question is why i am giving the money suppose i am giving the money to get two packets of biscuits from komal if it so biscuit is a stock item two is the unit packets are the unit quantity code so please remember ledgers stock item unit unit quantity code all this are commonly known as masters why we call them as masters once you create them you can use them as much as you want okay how many how, 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 how many times you want okay so that's how it's called masters please remember a transaction is built upon these masters so without master you cannot enter a transaction so in short i could easily say the masters are the prerequisites for the transactions okay right so please remember if you want to import any data from the third party to tally your first step should be importing the required masters then to transaction so that's the right order okay i could make it as further simple suppose i wish to cook something let's let's um, uh, uh, imagine i am i am trying to cook paneer butter masala okay if so then i have to cut the paneer okay then i have to cut the uh, <clears throat> onion and uh, other things okay so i have to make all the preparatory work ready then only i can cook it okay right so before uh, putting the uh, pan on the uh, gas stove no so i have to make them ready so that's 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 what known as masters and then transactions okay so let me click on master the moment when i click on master here tally by default shows all accounting master there is a million dollar question do i need to take only million uh, the accounting masters not necessary dear not necessary okay right so click on configure and select okay there are a different sample files please no uh, remember tally allows you to take all masters in one shot okay are all accounting masters are only all inventory masters are only payroll masters or even one can take the simple the, uh, one particular master let's assume i need to take only the ledger i need to take only the stock it this is how it is okay right so let's go to the material now so in the material i clearly explained all this or i strongly believe i clearly explained all this all these things right okay so komal is the best judge komal has to tell you okay right so 
import manage sample and masters so when you click so you can by clicking on configure you can choose the type of master that you want to okay so the moment when you click on the master the ma uh, the, the particular master and export no so the files will get exported to the particular folder right i'll show you so in tally prime okay this is this is where i configured so all the accounting masters file is there okay so the moment when i click on export the file will get exported sample file will, will get exported now the question is krishan look at the look at the bottom there are so many sheets no what are they what are their purposes okay look at the field names some of them are bold some of them are normal why they colored something okay these are all the questions in our mind okay let me answer all those questions with my material okay please remember the yellow colored one is just to distinguish the heading from the data okay then mandatory fields are marked with bold normal letters are in <coughs> normal letters shows the optional part now the question is can i add some more field yes can i delete optional fields not necessary but you can can i modify name of this field names okay or uh, headers no please don't do it why because these headers are mapped with tally if you change anything no the mapping will get spoiled okay so don't do that now the question is krishan why this seats are please remember every master has a seat if you want to add something readme seat will be the next to the particular seat you can click on the readme the moment when you click on the readme the information will be on the screen okay so in the information fields are there applicable countries are there why because gst is applicable not only to india it's to singapore and to so many other countries okay so what they mean is it applicable to india or some other country okay if it's applicable to india or to all countries what are all the applicable values that i can fill okay so i can fill igst i can fill sgst i can even fill utgst okay right so applicable not applicable this is how the values are there in the excel let me show you okay ledger read me this is the file name okay so komal is showing me a signal sir it's too small can you please enlarge okay thank you komal so i'm just enlarging okay right okay so this is the field names okay applicable countries and then applicable values this is how it is please remember tally tries to make it easy so easy so so easy okay right so <laughs> now the question is can i take a particular file particular type of master alone yeah that's that's also possible here in this example i took only stock item and read me this is how it, the sheets could be so easy even okay so now the question is krishnan i got the data no i got the data no right so, sorry i got the excel no so how to fill the excel then how to import the data this is the million dollar question so let me take you to one filled example So in excel okay all accounting master so let me close the uh, earlier one okay so last one so that let me open the this accounting masters right please remember in this i have filled all the masters now the question from chart accountant forum are the uh, below chart accountants are leading chart accountants you know how do you know these are all the masters question fantastic excellent question okay how i know let me click on the vouchers that i need to export okay so i am trying to export all this are all this vouchers from from the voucher right i decide or i chose the master okay these are all the ledger names i need these are all the stock items i need these are all the units that i need so please remember you have to fill the things there okay now the question is krishan without creating the masters can i import the transaction directly there is an answer there is an answer don't worry tally used to have at least four or five solutions for a single issue or a single problem okay we are discussing the solution number 1 quite interesting solution number 2 is there without importing masters you can directly import the transactions that more interesting okay as uh, william words what said no the heard melodies are sweet but those unheard are so sweet okay we are um, uh, hearing the melody one 
the help melody two will be more interesting. Okay, let's wait. Okay, so now the question is, from this I came to know what are all the masters. I just fill the masters. Okay, so this is how the masters must get filled. Now the question is, how to import the masters? Okay, so let me one minute. Let me create a company. Let me create a new company, totally new company. Okay, so that I can easily take this. Okay, so let me create a company, test company. Let me store this. Okay, now the question is how to import. Click on Alt O Import. Click on Alt O Import. Then we are going to import the masters. So click on master. Now the question is are you going to take the data from Excel? I think it's an irritating question. No, please don't get irritated. Plus space bar, press space bar. Then only you know not only Excel. One can export data from XML even. So tally, tally is giving us two choices. So it's a Sunday delight or a double delight. Okay, right? So Excel, right? Now the question is, where from you are going to take the things, right? I'm going to take the things from Accounting Master XLS. Accounting Master has so many masters, no? Which one you are picking? Ledger, okay. So do you have any mapping template? Are you, I don't know, yaar. Okay, so now Tally is helping us. Don't worry. Simple to use templates are there and it's built up in Tally. Don't worry. Okay, you need not to map anything or you need not to think about the technicality. So I'm just taking the default template. The moment when I take default template, no, so Tally is advising me, friend, default template includes accounting, inventory and payroll. Which one you need? I need accounting. Under accounting, which one you need? I need ledger. Okay, can I modify it with the new data? Very much. Okay, so can I import? Okay, so the moment when I press enter, 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 the import summary is ready. Okay, so when I look at the import summary, it clearly says sundry creditor, sundry creditor, and the counts. Okay, first thing I need to check the total count. Look at my Excel sheet. Okay, which is six. Okay, starts from two, ends at seven, six. Okay, in this. Duties and taxes as two, otherwise all the others are one. Okay, so let me look at it. So list consists of six, only duties and ta taxes as two, all the others are singles. Okay, so let me confirm this and click on import. The moment when I click on import, for the safety sake, it takes a backup and then it gives me import completed successfully. Okay, right. Now the question from uh, one Mr. Kumar. Right, chart account. Kumar CA is asking me pinpointedly, Krishnan, if there is any mistake, how the tally will handle? Okay, so let's assume, suppose in this, I didn't give the duties and taxes. Okay, I didn't give the duties and taxes. Okay, so let me delete this company. Let me delete this company. Let me create another company. Don't worry. All those will take only one minute of us. Okay, so let me create another company test company okay another test company control a control a all to import masters okay same steps okay right same steps let me click on it okay look at it all the all the things are single what about the particulars primary right okay so let me click on import the moment when i started clicking on import okay komal is stopping me krishnan if you do so you will end up with a problem okay so you have to take a special step or a precautionary step. What is it precautionary? Komal is advising me, click on import, sir. Fantastic, Komal. Click on configuration, sir. Fantastic. Everyone used to complain about 3.0 or 3.0.1. They didn't know what are the specialities or real help of 3.0. Okay. So what is the real help of 3.0, Komal? The real help of 3.0 is behavior of import which has a fantastic thing, you need not to stop at first exception or you need not to ignore the things, right? Even if you find there is an exception, right? When you select record exception and import, this fantastic option will help to import all the missing information even, right? All the problematic one even, all the, all the, uh, all the, uh, all the, uh, irrelevant information even to tally later we can correct it okay so let me set it and then let me click on import okay as usual the backup is there 
look at it there is an exception so let me click on exception the moment when i click on exception it clearly says parent group is missing okay so i have created a master but the group is not there so let me click on it so it's a ledger let me click on it the ledger name is sgst let me click on it now the missing factor is i didn't select the duties and taxes let me fill it later let me fill it later let me store it the moment when i accept this the error will get solved okay the error will get solved now the masters will get updated let me check where exactly the masters are okay so they are in ledgers or let me take you to chart of accounts okay ledger okay look at it sri kumar marine agencies cgst sgst goods okay so all the ledgers are there okay so i i i easily imported data from tally to a master from tally to excel okay now the question is is the same steps for transaction krishna fantastic fantastic okay so you are following me like the shadow of the body okay right so i'm i'm totally satisfied the same steps are there how to do click at import click at import click on manage okay then click on sample excel file okay go to transaction take the type of master through configuration and export if you do so the excel file will get exported to selected or chosen folder then fill that excel file how to fill it's a million dollar question so how to fill right okay so let me show you right this is the excel file this is the, sorry this is the excel file one minute so we finished the, uh, the exceptions and all okay so this is the okay so this is the excel file in this they show one entry they put the conditions also okay so please don't edit edit the column headers optional columns may be removed or kept as blank okay if you want to add new columns that's possible please refer the read me sheet okay then please remember fill the voucher date voucher type and voucher number cells at only one at the first row of the entry why because please remember as i told you as i told you early one transaction will have at least two information okay so two rows will be will required to compile or to enter one transaction okay in this case we clearly put the date the type the number and the party's gst number only in the first row because we know this first row is the credit so we need to give the debits or further credits so please remember this four rows are for one entry that's why we didn't repeat the date and voucher types again and again so the tally will not get confused okay the same thing for sales okay then the second uh, the next part is here okay in this we clearly put the uh, stock item okay and then <coughs> rate unit rate and everything okay so now the question is once i fill the data okay right let me show you the excel sheet also let me show you the excel sheet also okay so that people can understand how i fill the excel sheet how i fill the excel sheet okay right so let me show you this is the excel sheet in this i i just put only the number uh, date and uh, number type on the first row and then i keep on typing the second row third row fourth row for the for the debits and credit when it comes to inventory affected thing i fill the inventory information now the question is suppose when i have the second inventory can i take one more row yes but please remember this should be filled in the fifth row okay so this is how take row by row and enter the information carefully and store it okay so now the question is can we import this to tally is it a easy job it's a quite easy job quite easy job okay so how to do it so click on alt o transaction okay alt o transaction okay one minute so alt o okay so transaction oh sorry uh, yeah one minute uh, yeah okay so alt o transaction okay excel sheet okay where i kept the data accounting vouchers okay right okay right so accounting vouchers is it accounting voucher yes okay am i am i am i going to use the template default template yes okay so let me click on it 
right now the question is is the count right okay let me check it there are two vouchers one for purchase one for sale this counts are okay so let me click on import please don't worry if there is any exception tally can keep those exceptions and record the entire entry okay suppose you have 700 entries there you can okay so let me click on import safety sec it takes the backup exception if there is any exception no then i can take the exception what could be the exception okay so can anyone just tell me what could be the exception okay look at the file and then tell me if anyone rightly pointed out the exception i am ready to give them 5000 rupees <laughs> komal can we increase the amount little so i hope not <laughs> <laughs> okay like i know i know at least 50% of you can easily answer this question okay like uh, that's why i reduced the amount right oh, I, i saw yeah okay some of the answers uh, item uh, item name okay then uh, i saw some of the answers okay. right okay well right okay so i i'll show you where exactly the issue is okay so let me click on stock item let me click on the item okay right so container number so here we didn't take the box so let me create box okay so let me create the box okay boxes that's what we gave no let, let me refer the excel file boxes no so let me click uh, let me create the boxes and the unit quantity code is box unit quantity quantity code is box accept okay so this is the one let me store now the exception is over entries are stored on the 31st december okay right so this is the one let me click on f12 okay let, let me click on f12 let me set s yes to inventory details also so that people can uh, get the information okay so container one okay right r let me uh, delete this again r uh, let me import it again okay so alt o transactions okay so let me do it again import now the exception will not be there why because we created the unit okay so yes okay the import has completed now look at it container 1 1 boxes 85000 please remember by doing this exercise twice i gave you a confidence that even without a master one can export please remember the story again or recall the story again i <coughs> imported the masters accounting masters alone and i took the transaction please remember the transaction consists of inventory masters also i didn't export the inventory masters so i gave you the confidence of even importing even without importing the masters one can import the transaction directly to tally and then later he can rectify it okay right but please remember this is possible only with the help of release 3.0 or 3.0.1 or 4.0 okay right so why because these three releases has the fantastic have the fantastic option of recording masters with the exception this is the beauty of release 3.0 okay right or the charm part of 3.0 or uh, 3.0 onwards okay right so now the question is krishnan this is for the sample file no suppose i have data in my own file is it so easy to transfer the data from excel to tally again let me emphasize it's so 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 easy to transfer your own data your own formatted excel file uh, data from your own formatted excel file to tally okay so i'll show you i'll show you that magic also okay right so let's take a file and then le let's think le let's see okay so let me take ledger cell right okay ledger cell let me take that file this is the file in which i kept sheet number 1 sheet number 1 i just put the name right okay being a vendor or or being a trader i know who are the suppliers who are the customers i didn't know the technical terms of sandy data and sandy data forget about it i know the balances and debit credit okay so this is how i felt this is how i felt now the question is will tally help this to um, uh, import from uh, excel to tally why not why not right okay so how to do it how to do it so let me create another company let me close this company let me create another company okay create another company company 1 let me show store it 
<laughs> now the question is i need all this masters in company number 1 okay is it possible yeah it's possible import okay masters import masters i am going to take the data from ledger cell okay from seat 1 now the question is is there any default template in tally how tally knows my format yaar so tally cannot give uh, such templates no okay so i need to create the mapping template what is mapping nothing i'll tell you the simple way suppose <clears throat> someone got down at silk board and trying to visit tally office so immediately they people will go to google map google map will draw or google map will will touch two points with a map okay from silk board to tally office okay like so uh, let me uh, uh, narrow down or let me tell you in a simple way is nothing but connecting the rabbit with the carrot okay so we or our kids used to draw a line to connect the rabbit with the carrot okay it's as simple as connecting the rabbit with the carrot okay so you are going to connect tally fields with your excel header okay so when you draw a line when you connect them properly the information will be fetched from excel and the fetched information will be stored in tally it's as easy as connecting rabbit with the carrot okay so are you ready for the job okay are you prepared with the pencils color pencils okay hope you remember those days no when you were in the kindergarten okay so it's as simple as the job of a kindergarten uh, uh, children okay like so let me do it so let me create a template let me create a template from here okay or let me show you how i created the template okay so uh, let me show you how i created that please remember the templates can be stored for this company or for all companies okay right so give a name for the template give a name for the template okay then choose the master that you are going to link or create okay so let's jump now the question is on your left side tally will list out all the list all the uh, all the masters available in tally those who are mandatory will be specially marked on the right side as mandatory okay right so let me choose the first one okay let me choose the first one name of the ledger one minute. so name of the ledger so ledger one one minute. so ledger okay or the name okay so immediately when i reached column header tally will show all the column headers in my excel okay so here uh, 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 accidentally or coincidentally i put name as name okay group name i don't know what is group name okay i put them as type so let me select type okay so ledger balance i put them as balance ledger opening balance i put them under debit credit column okay this is how it is so let me store it okay then modify with new balance the moment when i reached import summary it clearly says krishnan the list consists of one supplier and two customers okay so let me go to my tally one supplier and two customer are here it's as easy as taking gulab jamuns or rasagullas okay so easy did i uh, ma, uh, ma, 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 ma waste a tear or did i uh, ma, sweat nothing no it's so easy okay so now the question is krishnan i am going to show you a different data okay what is the data look at the seat some wise guy put this balances in two different columns so that he, he can total them out and he can check them okay so he didn't mean what is debit and credit debit is in one column credit is in another column okay right so how are you going to consider this don't worry yaar when tally is with you you need not to bother okay like let me show you how to do it okay same way all to o, masters okay all to o, masters then take your file take the sheet from which you are going to take the data develop your own <coughs> template okay in this template the magic part okay is then how to consider the ledger opening balance why because let me show it again the ledger opening balances are in two different columns if it falls on the first column you have to consider them them as debit if it's on the second column you have to consider them as credit okay this is where the issue is the technicality is here okay right okay how to do it look at the solution given by tally amazing 
fantastic easiest solution okay how they gave they added a thing called compute value okay so look at compute value so click on compute value the compute value clearly says when you take two three fields please remember the net value will get stored so now job, my job is easy take debit and consider debit as debit take credit and consider credit as credit okay now debit and credit will get it will get net up okay so look at the first one look at the first one debit 0 credit 21681 the ultimate result is 21681 cr credit okay look at the second one debit is there credit is 0 when netting of these two the results will be the result will be 15109 debit okay so it's again as simple okay right so let me store this let me store this let me click on accept okay modify with new field okay again 2 1 plus 2 so let me click on import okay yes there is an exception hope you know the exceptions are what is customer let me put them under sunday data who are suppliers let me put them under sunday data the moment i when i put this the exception will be ruled out okay look at the balance sheet look at the results 21681 21681 let me get into this ravi associate supplier sunday data customer there are two parties okay right so please remember it's so simple it's so simple exporting data from your own format to tally or any excel format to tally it's so simple it's so simple okay right so if you still have questions on excel no feel free and send this to chat or q and a okay then let me take you to the next round okay so we have three rounds today so the first round is over one roller coaster round is over okay so i just splashed the water on you so you are ready for the second round let me take you to the second round okay uh, sir, should we do the questions uh, for this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, please, 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 please. Okay. Yeah, so I think in chat. Okay, okay. So I'm I'm reading the first one. Uh, okay, full webinar link will be sent to you. Okay. No, no, I think can yeah. be import data masters mm. are verified before importing. I mean, sorry, can imported data masters are verified before importing? Yeah, that's what the purpose of import summary okay i'll show you where exactly the import summary is okay so look at the import summary import summary is there no so import summary will show you the count okay right so look at the counts and the import summary will give you the voucher type wise as ma or master wise counts even so look at them if you get satisfied then click on import okay so import summary is a preview of what what you are going to import it's there it's there entirely it's there entirely okay right so uh, let me look yeah, at that. In the Q &A yeah. now, I think uh, if you see the Q, if you open the Q and A, I think yeah. uh, C A Ram has written instead of opening balance, could we do transactions like sal salary, first booked under credit and payments under debit? Okay, you can straight away take the transactions. Okay, what are all the masters required will be stored as exception. Create those uh, satisfy those exceptions and uh, kept the entries. Right. Let's assume you have four hundred entries which required. 50 masters enter the transaction or uh, import the transaction all this 50 will be stored as exception store them with the necessary information suppose salary is indirect expenses okay wages direct expenses this is how fill them once it's over then all the 600 all the 400 entries are the 500 entries will be stored in time okay so that's possible yeah. no need uh, to go by uh, master and transaction yeah. okay straight away you can go to transaction and store it Yes. Okay. Uh, the next is record. Uh, I am trying to import transaction data via Excel using default tally settings. I am importing sales data as item voucher. I want to import buyer's address, which is in multiple lines, but in your sheet, there is only one column for it. So how to import buyer supplier address having three lines? Okay. There are two ways. Okay. One, <laughs> add address, address one, address two, three different fields. Okay. Fill address 1, address 2, address 3 lines in uh, 3 different uh, columns. Okay, that's way number 1. Or address in the in the way number in the, in the field. Okay, type 1, 2, 3, 3 lines. Okay. When you import, there is an option, right? I'll I'll show you. 
or when you develop the uh, template no there is an option i'll show you right one minute i'll show you okay so alt o import transactions right or masters anything okay so transactions and master okay then uh, yeah okay so right there is an option called one, one minute. okay there is an option called oh, one minute. okay so here top ledgers bottom ledgers no okay so you can take you can mention the top ledger line number one top bottom ledger line number two then bottom ledger line number three so this is the top masters are there bottom masters are there so this will help you to put one more line or one more uh, uh, things in the uh, under the same okay this top or bottom will work like arrays okay arrays under what okay right yeah. so is there any more uh, uh, actually there are so i'm just saying we'll take one more and then we can proceed because else we won't finish it uh, i want to see the transaction import where ledger are configured under different column let's say sales ledger in a column sgc acha sgst in b column cgst in c column and party in column d no i didn't get you sorry so um, i want to see a transaction import where ledgers are configured under different columns that is sales ledger in a column tax in b column party in okay, b column okay okay yeah. i'll show you i'll show you okay this is the transaction cell okay this is the transaction cell in this look at it type bill number date party gstn item quantity unit rate okay and then cgst and sgst is there no so if you want to add them as cgst here and sgst there no you can put okay so uh, let me show you okay so cgst i, I think they they wish to get all the things in the in the column right okay so one row will be there one row will be there the one row is for all the all the items right okay so first thing they they will put purchase and then cgst sgst that's possible yeah that's possible okay i i'll tell you i'll tell you the easy way get this material at the end of the class get this material at the end of the class okay so read it carefully do one or two entries in the new company do one or two entries in the new company so that you people can learn it so easily okay right so Koma? i think you can move to the second topic we'll take the questions yeah, 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 later yeah, yeah, yeah okay because it's quite interesting okay people will have so much of so many questions under this right because it's a practical one so let me take you to the next one okay so next one is next one is the first dialogue of the superhero or the superstar okay so the dialogue is connect okay how to connect tally with the business platform okay so please remember here we didn't mention the normal whatsapp which is which normally we used to uh, share information with our friends friends kit and kin and everything okay so this is not the normal whatsapp normal whatsapp is totally different some of our clients or some of us may use business app or whatsapp business what are what are the extra facilities in whatsapp business auto reply will be there you can maintain a cart okay you can maintain your business profile in it okay right so you can uh, configure the thing to um, uh, send any commercial things okay these are all the things available in business app but please remember this whatsapp and business app are totally different from business platform in two different uh, scenarios or two different disciplines right or uh, information or features right the one whatsapp business platform is two way connected one two way connected one so you can track all your two way connected information in the portal you can use them whenever it's necessary right you can keep a track of it all this are possible in business platform further since it's a d2c uh, scenario right it's a bit chargeable one or uh, the scenario uh, uh, the business platform is available at rock bottom price or less than rock bottom price okay <laughs> that's how i could easily put okay so please remember this business platform is totally different from the whatsapp normal whatsapp and normal uh, the whatsapp business okay how it's different how it's different first thing whatsapp business platform is an api 
application programming interface okay we would have come across the script, uh, this uh, term right okay uh, when we connect tally with the e invoicing okay tally uh, e invoicing portal is connected with the tally frame through api the api is tally solutions okay so same thing here the api is connected our whatsapp platform is connected with the tally plat tally through interact portal okay right so the interact portal is acting between you right okay your tally and the customer's mobile or the customer's whatsapp okay so the interact portal will track all the information later you can use it okay so for this you need a valid phone number here the valid phone number refers to two three important points point number one the valid phone number should not carry any other whatsapp connections if it's so then you have to log out you have to uninstall the app you have to keep it uh, or you have to start it afresh in the particular mobile suppose you don't want to you don't want to specify or you don't want to allot a separate number for that no don't worry you can use even a landline number now the question from our friends if i use a land num line line number how can i get the otp the answer is don't worry so you can get it through ivr through a call so you can listen to it and then you can type it okay so one landline number or a one dedicated mobile number is required for this it is going to get connected with interact portal which is a d2c okay direct to consumers portal now the billion dollar question is krishnan if my tally is going to connect it with some other uh, third party software what is the uh, uh, how to maintain the secrets my answer to people please remember tally is offering us the remote access service for quite some time nearly a decade or a uh, uh, more than 5 6 years okay out of this experience we never get even one complaint from any of the customer saying that my secrecy got leaked through remote access okay so please remember there is no such scenario in tally okay so you need not to bother okay right so interact is a safer mode you can easily transfer the data now the question is krishnan <coughs> how to sign up for the whatsapp okay right i'll tell you the easy way go to tally 4.0 right okay so click on alt m alt m so far the button meant for mail now the button is meant for share why because it is connecting mail as well as whatsapp okay so let me click on alt m okay so it is renamed the alt m button is renamed as share okay then let me go to manage okay under whatsapp let me go to manage under whatsapp let me go to manage okay so let me again show you alt m manage okay so under manage sign up for whatsapp is there the moment when you click on sign up for whatsapp it will redirect or it will take you to tally's customer portal okay so in tally's customer portal in tally's customer portal okay you can click on uh, on your left side the whatsapp for business button will be there click on it immediately the right side will get changed look at the yellow color one okay which is meant for whatsapp for business click on it for the easy sake in this material i put the step numbers so that people can easily follow okay so whatsapp business is the first one click on it the moment when you click on it <clears throat> it will take you to <clears throat> product information okay don't worry the serial number and the information stored by you will be <clears throat> replicated by tally okay so look at it if you still have some changes click on it and then change it okay then confirm your partner number then click on submit immediately the moment when you click on submit this request will be escalated from your portal to your partner's portal okay so the partner will have a notification he'll accept it okay he'll call you he'll check with you then he'll accept the moment when he accept the same request will be escalated from customer's partner customer portal to interact portal so interact portal will check your uh, details and all okay a formal checking after that the interact will generate a mail 
okay interact with generate a mail with your name okay and the company name and then interact will give you the uh, interact will accept the email id given by you and interact will give you the password okay so if you want to change the password if you find that password is tough click on uh, uh, reset then change it okay within 24 hours you can change it no problem later even you can change but you have to go to uh, whatsapp facebook and then you have to so uh, the steps are little uh, comprehensive when you click it after 24 hours okay right so <clears throat> click on and change the thing <laughs> then login into the portal the moment when you log in into the portal okay you will be asked to confirm your mobile number okay just type the mobile number when the moment when you type the mobile number or the landline number the interact portal will check is there any existing whatsapp account in it if there is no whatsapp it will accept it will send you the otp either through call or through uh, your mobile okay right so get it type it store it once it did it properly you will get a again confirmation message message from the api saying that your number got registered your subscription is necessary okay so please remember it needs two subscriptions once one your valid tss subscription okay tally um, uh, support uh, 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 tss subscription one then the other one is your whatsapp subscription now the question is okay in one of the meeting one uh, uh, immediately raised the question right krishnan how many times you are going to take the money from us i humbly answer as many as services you want from the third party please remember the tally started its career in 1986 till remote access we never collected one more paise from any of the existing customers okay right clear it's a the license is a um, how is it it's a permanent license or a perpetual license when you need the support from the third party then you have to pay. now you need support from whatsapp you have to pay okay so this is for the whatsapp okay so please remember uh, you need to give the subscription subscription amount is not so high it's so simple okay and further when you subscribe money you are going to get a top up from the subscription one third of the money will be given to you as top up out of the one for one third i can simply give you a information status statistics saying that out of the subscription uh, uh, whatsapp uh, sorry top up amount you can send 156 156 messages in a month at almost free of cost okay so don't worry you are not going to pay more okay so renew the subscription by calling your partner once it's ready then you can send the message okay now the question is krishnan i have renewed my subscription i have signed up i have renewed my subscription now how tally knows that now uh, how tally knows that my company has the subscription i'll tell you okay open your company open your company okay so let me open my company this is my company this is my company let me click on alt m okay so let me click on manage right let me click on whatsapp numbers okay so whatsapp numbers okay right so one minute so let me click on yeah one minute so alt m manage okay so whatsapp numbers okay right so enter whatsapp details let me type the registered mobile number with the api this is a registered mobile number okay what is my business name best marine okay so let me type my business name accept the moment when i put so it uh, it uh, 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 six an answer from me or a concern from me you want to connect with the uh, uh, whatsapp business or login into whatsapp business let me type now the question is what is the uh, uh, credentials i have to use i have to use the credentials that i get from interact okay for the easy sake i stored all of them here so let me copy one by one already i typed the email id let me cop copy the password now let me copy the password now let me store it okay so now interact get connected with it okay now the question is krishnan how to send data to one okay so let me take one example display accounts book sales book suppose this is the entry which i want to send okay which i want to send 
So Baker's traders, Baker's traders. So now the question is, I wish to send this sales invoice to someone. Okay. So Baker's traders must be updated with the mobile number. No. So let me click on control enter. Right. Let me click on control enter. Then let me type the mobile number. Okay. Right. Can anyone just send me the mobile number in the chat so that I can send the message to them? Anyone, anyone in the in the chat, you can share your mobile number. Let's take this as a um, uh, test. Okay. So can you, anyone type? Please, anyone. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, sir, it, the chat was uh, one person. So Mr. Kewal Haria will send him. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Kewal Haria, no? Okay. So let me copy Kewal's uh, number. Okay, right. Thank you, Ms. Uh, uh, Kewal. Okay, so let me copy, let me paste it, let me paste it. Yeah, okay. one minute. Uh, yeah. So, um, Zoom will not allow you to copy and dictate, you can type it. Okay, okay, please. Yeah, 9427. 9427. 28. 28. 1480. 1480, no? Okay, yeah. right. So, let me store this number in the primary mobile. Okay. Then let me click on Control Alt W. How I know? Click on Alt M. Okay, get the shortcut Control Alt W. So let me click on Control Alt W. Okay, so the number is filled again here. So let me click on WhatsApp. Right. Okay. So the WhatsApp message is sent to him. Okay, in this format. Right. I'll show you in this in the in my book. Okay. So the WhatsApp message will be sent to him in this format. Okay, my mobile number, my logo, right? Okay, registered name and logo and the message. Okay, please remember the message will be sent with the predefined data or a template. Okay, dear Sarah, please, please find attached sales because I'm sending sales document. Okay, bearing this number dated this from this. Okay, so this is how the message will get sent to Mr. Kevin. Okay. So, right. Okay. So, Kevin Haria uh, accepted this, sir, receipt. Okay. Right. Uh, Kevin Ji, um, uh, can you please send some reply? In the same message, send some reply. He okay. has, sir. Okay. Achha, you, uh, oh, achha, reply to you, is it? Ah, yeah. Dali. Okay. Type some reply. What is this? When I need to pay, this is how you, you type some message and send it to me. Then you, you look at the magic. Okay. What, how Tally is connecting with us. Or how the, the API is connecting or behaving a two-way connection. Okay. Hope you typed some message, no? Will you also receive on WhatsApp or something? Yeah, okay. So how to check that? Uh, how to check that? I'll show you. Okay, right. So go to Alt M. Click on Alt M. Okay, click on Alt M. Okay, there is an inbox, no? Click on inbox. Okay, login into Interact Portal. Login into Interact Portal by using your uh, <coughs> credential. Okay, right? Now look at it. I have sent this to Mr. Kewal. Okay, right? Kewal Haria. Okay, this is the answer. Received invoice, how many days? Now, please remember, when I send the first message, it is known as <coughs> utility message. Okay, for this, the WhatsApp will charge us. 32 paise, just 32 paise. Please remember these kind of messages, the reply from the customer, no, whatever triggered from the customer is known as service message. So once the customer triggered the message, the service message is valid till 24 hours. That's one. Then the next one, WhatsApp is not going to charge one paise from us for sending how many numbers of replies, right? Okay. So let me reply now. Okay, right. So, uh, pay it within a week, right? Pay it within a week. So, let me type. So, pay it within a week, right? Okay. So, send. He'll get this. He could ask me 10 days. Okay. So, Kevalji, can you please type 10 days and send me? Okay. 10 days or more. Okay. So, another important thing when Mr. Kevalji look at the answer, no. So I get the blue tick or the green tick, no? Okay, right? So I get the tick. So I know he read it. Okay, right? So now he is asking me, can I get 10 days? Okay, can I get 10 days? Okay, okay, chala gaya. Okay, 
okay you can like please so this is how please remember what is one paid message even if i conversate with them for 20 30 messages or hundreds of messages no all of them will be charged at only once you need not to pay any amount for the service method. okay so another important thing if the service if the message is not replied by the party within 24 hours no okay so i'll show you uh, if, if it's not replied by the party within 24 hours when you try to open the particular message the customer has not spoken to you so again you need to choose the template and you have to pay you have to pay okay so within 24 hours it's totally free now the question from someone sir how to send the same message to different people okay or more numbers the answer is so simple here go to the particular message okay suppose this is the message click on it okay alter the party press f12 press f12 go to party details master supposed to be the second master second tab okay then click on provide multiple mobile number click on default whatsapp number let me repeat click on multiple mobile number and click on default whatsapp number when you do so okay you have the um, uh, field called provide multiple mobile mobile number click on it name the person type the mobile numbers name the person type the mobile numbers now the question is can i send them to all the people or can i choose some of them okay you have choices right if you want to send it only to the primary and kumar you can choose if you want to send it to everyone choose the prime multiple mobile number okay so multiple mobile number you can choose one by one store them, right so let me try to send this message let me try, try to send this message now the question is krishnan i am trying to send this to three people no will i get a report is it effectively sent across okay right so let me try control alt w whatsapp okay so at the end of this i'll get a summary exchange summary which clearly says how many messages i attempted how many messages i sent successfully how many messages are failed why okay look at the mobile number i typed by mistake only nine numbers that's why the number is not full so i, I need to correct it so this is how on every multiple messages i'll get a exchange summary which will tell me effectiveness of the messages okay right so clear right now the question is krishnan do i need to do it again and again the answer is arayar update all the mobile numbers here update all the mobile numbers how okay so go to right alt g contact details okay ledger contact details okay ledger contact details you are supposed to suppose for your sandy ritas okay so update all their phone numbers update all their phone numbers this is step number one step number two alter voucher type okay take sales suppose you want to send every sales to people look at the last option on your left side whatsapp voucher after saving set it as yes okay over whenever you put entry and store it automatically it goes to whatsapp or send it through whatsapp okay problem is solved okay right so it's so easy so inbox is there inbox is there 24 hours messages are there now the question is krishnan the templates are not okay can i correct them can i create my own template yeah that's possible go to interact click on templates okay the templates will get listed out if you want to alter something no so click on the three dot okay edit them suppose if you want to create one that's possible okay click on new one the moment when you click on new one you can type the header body footer and call to action all this will be stored like this you you can get a preview and then you can you can uh, store it once you store it within 24 hours the message will get updated okay right then when you refresh this in your tally the message will be added with your tally okay now the question is krishnan i paid something now can i get a, a detailed report why not click on wallet okay the wallet will show you the available balance suppose let's assume i put 500 why it shows 249 so click on track expenses right 
the messages, the list of messages and their charges will be there. Now the question is, you already told, you can track all the messages, no? How? Click on view inside. Okay. Set the period. Suppose you want it for last 30 days. So how many conversations happened so far? Okay. What are the templates? Or, uh, uh, what are the business conversations? User, user initiated conversations are reply. Okay. Then the same thing represented with data day wise. Okay. Right. Clear. So this is how it is. So the interact portal will help you to track all the information and if necessary, one can submit this in the court of law even as the proof of following something. Let's assume I followed the bill for three, four months. Okay. The party simply denied it in the court of law. Okay. I can show this as proof. Array are my lord. Look at it. I have sent so many information. He replied even. So this is how I, we can produce this as a uh, supporting evidence. Right. Okay. Right. Or substantiating evidence to the court of law. Okay. So please remember tally is helping you in all the parts of your business. All the all the issues or all the um, uh, requirements in your business. Okay. Right. Now I am moving on to the uh, hero's third part. Okay. Hero's third dialogue. The dialogue is visualize your business. Okay. Right. So I will show you how to visualize the business. Okay. Right. We have created a fantastic dashboard. Right. Okay. This dashboard has 10 tiles. Okay. So I will tell you, I will I will show you where exactly the dashboard is. Dashboard is here. Okay. So if you click on dashboard, 10 tiles are there. My usual question is where we lay the tiles, the tiles will be laid on the floor so that the walk could be easy. Okay. Right. Even if it's a long walk, the walk could be easy. Okay. So my way of describing dashboard is this 10 tiled floor will Aramse take you to the victory. Okay. Step at all the 10 tiles. At the end of this, you'll, you'll end it at victory. Okay. Right. If you want, if you want to add more tiles, that's possible. If you want to go uh, further miles, that's also possible. Okay. Right. So now the question is, Krishnan, when there are 10 tiles, how I know where exactly the control is? Don't worry. The tile is marked with a kind of yellow or a uh, <coughs> magenta color. Okay, right. So this is where the control is. Okay, right. Now the question is, can I, if I move the arrow keys, will it take me to the second uh, uh, tile? Okay, the answer is no. You are, you, you are uh, somehow mistaken. Right, okay. If you move the arrow key, no, side arrow key, no, since the control is in a particular tile, the control, the, the arrow keys will take you to the part, final part of the particular tile. Okay, right. So, look at it. The moment when I change the key, the, it changes the period. September, October. Okay, this is the one. Now, the question is, why it shows the periods, Krishna? Don't worry. If you want to check the details now, click on it. The tracking facility for the particular field. Okay. From the tile to particular detail is possible. Let me move this to February or let me move this to September and let me click on it. Now, I am going to, uh, now, now I got September. Okay, this is how. So, the arrow keys will help you to change the control within the particular type. Okay, like now the question is, someone is asking me a fantastic question. Krishna, are you able to look at the tile seriously? You are wearing a glass, no? Probably the, you may be 50. No, I am not that young. I am 51. Proud to share the date of birth with Sachin Tendulkar, 24th April 1973. So, uh, my uh, glass power is nearly 2.5 or 2.7. Okay. So now the question is, Krishnan, are you able to look at the tile properly? My answer is, Arayar, don't worry. Click on Alt V. Okay. The tile will get expanded to the possible extent. Okay. You can look at it so easily. Okay. So Alt V will help you to expand it. Press Escape. Automatically it goes back to the original shape. Okay. Or zoom out. Right. Okay. Clear. Okay. So zoom in, zoom out is possible. Alt V Escape. Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> can we configure this tile? So look at the bar. If you use the XY bar or a line bar, no. So, I cannot uh, predict my uh, developments. Okay. Can I change this? 
don't worry click on alt to see click on alt to see okay graph is there change the type of graph look at uh, change the uh, type of graph to bar okay now look at it so bar graph clearly says my business is not a standard one or a stabilized one it keep on increasing and decreasing okay so i used to tell in the classes bar need not to disturb your businesses okay if you keep the bar within two rounds or one round that may contribute your business even okay right so i never recommend you to go to bar in the evening but then if you want to celebrate then go okay right so look at it so it clearly says now the question is now the question is can i get the data for this why not why not you can get anything you want okay so click at all to see okay so then <clears throat> i need data and graph with a bar so this is the data look at it the third month it got reduced okay in the fifth month sixth month it got reduced that's that's why the graph represents this data so easy okay now the question is krishnan you have enough you have explained enough of one tile yeah okay the uh, time is getting delayed okay so can you take us to next tile the way easy way to go to next tile is drag your mouse point and click on it that's the easy way okay what is the grammatical way the grammatical way is use control and then arrow keys okay so control side arrow key will move on sideways control up and down arrow key will take you vertically okay so if you want to move horizontally control and side arrow key if you want to move vertically control and up arrow key okay this is how it is now the question is krishnan can you remove any of the uh, thing right like, yes you can remove press alt d right okay you can remove okay so let me remove i can remove can i change the position of them okay instead of uh, the purchase be the second one can i change the trading be the second one click on all to see okay click on all to see look at the last field position okay so change this to two of nine okay now the trading is to purchase in the trading position okay so suffering portfolio of ministers that's not only in the india okay suffering tiles is also possible in tally you can behave like the prime minister and change the portfolios okay so i'm not speaking anything anything politically okay right so that's easy clear <laughs> okay now the question is can i add one more title one more tile that's the fantastic part of dashboard yeah that's a fantastic part why why because the tile is amalgamating information from 350 reports 350 reports amazing okay right so let me click on alt a okay look at it so is this 350 please remember this has inactive also okay so when you click on inactive when you uh, uh, take one by one okay so how it's 350 i'll show you okay let me take suppose let me take top groups okay sundry datas okay the moment when i take top group it will show me who are all the top business people okay right now the question is what they purchased from me what what i sold to them so let me click on again alt a okay right then let me click on top stock groups okay or stock item trend okay or stock group okay so top stock group these are all the thing now the thing is i need trend of a first one so let me again click alt a stock item trend let me take the first one this is the stock item trend now the question is if the this is the stock item trend of this first one what about the second one you can add same type of type again and again so let me click on alt a stock item okay that's for the second one okay so this is for first one this is for first one this is for the second one so please remember these type of additions the maximum of additions is 350 okay this is how you can uh, take data from 350 uh, uh, tables and you can build it again and again okay right so further when you come out of it you have to save it as your view right you can use this okay so if i save this as my view here after i can use this don't worry even if you don't save right even if you don't save there are saved views in tally i'll show you h change view there are two saved views one is purely meant for exclusively meant for purchase 
the another one is exclusively meant for sales so purchase dashboard which has six seven uh, tiles okay so it's meant for purchase receive payable stock group po purchase orders okay same thing sales okay sales sales order receivable sales related thing okay so nearly uh, 10 plus 7 plus 6 nearly 23 ready-made tiles are there you can add one more okay. i'll show you another magic okay so magics are not ended okay i'll show you another magic let me open another company suppose this is the company okay now let me go to dashboard now let me go to dashboard let me click on add let me click on add look at it so i can select the companies okay or i can match the companies or compare the companies so let me click on the purchase of company so these two no now let me click at alt f3 and select another one the moment when i select the the dashboard is automatically updated with the selected company okay so one more question sir can i use this as a default screen when i logging into the company that's possible how help okay settings then settings sorry help one minute. help settings okay then startup look at the second one open dashboard on loading company so the ceo of a company can set it with yes so when he opened the company automatically it goes to tally it goes to dashboard he can visualize his business and he can do more okay so with this let me uh, stop the superheroes performance the superstar uh, uh, used to speak three uh, dialogues right okay connect automate and visualize connect is connecting your business with the whatsapp automate your data from any excel to tally visualize your business in a better way and do more okay i hope release 4.0 is undoubtedly a superstar let's celebrate it so with this let me conclude let me wait for your questions still you have some questions with the superstar to the superstar you can ask i'll i'll, I'll uh, clarify those questions so, okay. uh, we can so instead of me reading out maybe you can quickly glance through the q a and see okay. if something okay. you have there not are, covered there are so many questions no? yeah there are so many questions no let me look at it recording entries yeah payroll uh yeah payroll and journal is possible here yeah. payroll and journal is possible payroll um, uh, entries has separate sample file so you can do it okay right okay then uh the book material zone seems to be nice working okay don't worry um, uh, i'm so happy that uh, uh, you said it's nice i, I i'll share this uh, with the help of komal right okay so can import entire yeah okay <clears throat> yeah can import bank of statements also sir bank statement is quite easy sir i'll tell you first set the uh, auto bank reconciliation store the bank reconciliation uh, bank statement uh, uh, where you store it okay then go to alt um, display accounts book cash and bank bank then click on alt r then click on alt o and e alt o stands for import a stands for bank statement so the bank statement will get imported automatically tally will try to uh, match the entries all the unmatched entries you can convert them as the individual vouchers okay that's possible okay can we import third party format instead of manual entry okay yeah okay done no okay can we import third party format instead of manual entry uh, yeah that's possible right okay third party format is also possible right you mean excel no that's possible okay get your own format develop a template use the template you can do it okay does tally prime 3.0 compose 3.0 doesn't come, uh, uh, have uh, uh, excel import but 3.0 has the speciality of importing it with the exceptions okay that's what i mean okay so jidendra kumar uh, how to import bill wise data for the opening balance sir uh, type bill number and the bill amount okay two more fill type the amount type the bill number in one column and the um, uh, this thing okay suppose you want you want to do it with the bill date as well as due date okay so add two more field okay bill date and due date that's possible that's possible okay right so uh, if run all ledgers import 
state and GST are not coming now. So if in uh, G, I, I just show you an example, right? Okay. So uh, you can try on your own and we can uh, uh, touch the height of it. Okay. So tally import has so many features. If you allow me to cover the entire thing, no, I may take even one hour of uh, one day of yours. Okay. That's not possible. Formal will not permit me to take one more one day. Okay. So that's why that's why I restricted. Jidendra Kumar, how to import binwise data of the opening balance? Uh, that's what I already told you. Add two more columns, right? Okay. For bill and bill number, bill date, and the bill amount. Okay, that's possible. Okay. Savalia, sale import uh, data in rate-wise example product five. That's possible, sir. So the rates must be in the master. Import the master with the rate, HSN, and everything. Okay. Then uh, try importing the transaction. Okay. That's possible. Okay. Can we solve bank statement queries before importing Excel? That's that's possible, sir. So bank auto bank reconciliation is there in tally for quite a long time. You can use those steps. Okay, if it's necessary, then I'll send you those steps. Sandeep Chavan, please show this uh, as we tried but not able to do. So this do was uh, the one which you had taken. That is uh, column A may party name, column B may sales ledger name that way. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So how to import uh, bank statement money sink? That's possible here. I already told you Alt R and Alt O. Alt R and Alt O. Alt O A. Alt R, Alt O A. Okay. These are all the steps. Okay. Then uh, after subscription, a predefined template is not active. Okay. Sir, uh, delete the number. Delete the number. Okay. Again, uh, uh, add the number. The templates will get refreshed in Tandy or connected with the Interact portal. You will get the templates. Okay. Do it in that way. Okay. Just delete the WhatsApp number and reconnect it. Okay. Sandeep Chavan, do we have to pay charges for each invoice? Sir, every utility message will be charged with 31 paise. Service messages are free. Okay. Whatever triggered by the um, uh, partner and whatever be the reply to the partner, there is no charge. Okay. So, but rupees, individual invoice doesn't have a charge, right? You have take a subscription and you don't pay. Ah, yeah, that's that's not necessary. Yeah, but maybe because you know, thirty-one paise. Maybe if he's worried that we will have a single transaction of thirty-one paise, that will not be the case. Yeah, yeah, correct. You are right. You are right. Okay. So, Sunil Kumar. Uh, yeah. Okay. I joined little later. Can we get the? Uh, okay. So, recordings uh, will be in the. Uh, I hope will be in the portal. No. Yeah, yeah. So okay. all the recordings will be, we upload the CA Connect recordings at our Tally Community Portal. Okay. Okay. And uh, also, before we proceed, also I would like to say, uh, min, many of you may be aware of a WhatsApp community of uh, CAs, which we thought will be most useful for everyone. I'll just put in the link in the chat. You can use the link and join. You can ask your tally queries. You get the updates on taxation, due dates. And many CAs are there who are there to resolve your queries and very uh, interesting discussions. So you can join that group as well. Yeah. Okay. Palas Dutta, is there uh, any way to show which voucher has already shared and which is not? Okay. Right. Uh, normally, after importing uh, the bank statements, the bank statement will get added with the, uh, the title of a file will get added with the IMP. So hope uh, that's a, a kind of settings may be there in Taddy a little later, not now, a little later. Okay. So uh, uh -huh. and then how and where to put narration in column? Keep one column as narration, type it. Okay. It's a history field. Tally will uh, uh, import it. Okay. So narration is also possible here. Okay. Right. So Sandeep Chavan, what is the maximum number of tiles we can add to dashboard? As many as you want. Okay. So I, I think the reasonable one is uh, nearly 2025. 20, yeah. Okay. So don't try to add more. Okay. I, I think 2025 20, would be reasonable. Okay. Another important thing, all the 2025 20, can be converted into a PDF file, Excel file, or can be sent uh, as a WhatsApp message. That's possible. Okay. How we added um, uh, our tally 4.0 added with the option called any all time. Okay. I'll show you all time. Okay. Suppose you are here. Okay, so you want to export, okay, right? So click on Alt E, okay. All tiles are there, no? So when you click so, all tiles will get exported to the required format. Okay, that's possible. Okay, then can we set the different dashboard for different users and startup to open? 
no sir sandeep sawan ji that's uh, that's a global one okay so dash you can set different dashboards in different company right that's one option default opening is a global one so if you set the default opening as as in the uh, in the tally all companies will be uh, started with the dashboard okay but you can set your own dashboards in the or view of dashboards in in each company that's possible that's possible okay then uh, please share the presentation recording definitely vandana madam are yaar aap here okay i'm so happy so happy i'm so honored okay vandana madam uh, is a uh, leading chartered accountant okay spending her time uh, uh, with krishnan uh, for tally more than one and a half hours now i'm really blessed thank you so much madam so then i will thank read out so the session what she wrote excellent session avichi sir is a hero too you're not reading the compliments you are ignoring yeah, yeah, yeah. the compliments and giving I'm, the question I'm, I'm so, so you are so falling happy. short of time yeah, so uh, yeah, let us just quickly uh, see the okay. questions and uh, okay okay yeah. okay okay then uh, gable uh, sales chart can be compared with previous year in dashboard that's possible yeah that's possible open two companies one is the last one the current one and compare okay that's possible when there is two column for debit and credit in repeated row basis is not possible that's possible prakash tripta ji that's possible okay so top and bottom you can use okay so money is nicely presented thank you thank you then prakash tripta big issue on tally to import okay so can you please copy this to me uh, uh, komal okay i so, will do that sir yeah palas tripta yeah. ji i'll read it and then send the answer to komal ji okay because the time is uh, getting delayed okay so uh, can we import in third party format instead of manual entry that's possible that's possible okay so kalin uh, auto bank reconciliation is tedious because every entry has to be manually given a ledger account ah uh, that's not necessary yeah? that's not necessary if the masters are created already you need not to give it again if the master is new then you have to give okay otherwise it's not necessary okay so anonymous uh, thing okay when i export uh, uh, from tally 3.0 and import tally 4.0 all transaction is uncertain what is the reason the reason is go to f11 the second gst option take the priorities and check okay the priorities may be different okay so that that's where the issue may be okay check it again so uh, your your problem may get solved okay so uh, and we import third party format instead of manual entry moksh yeah, i didn't get you properly that's why i'm uh, your question is again taken okay kiran panchal very informative thanks for the guidance thank you ji okay rajan say uh, how to import bank statement bank statement i already told you uh, enable auto bank reconciliation go to uh, bank alt r alt o e okay these are all the steps okay nitin solangi direct bank statement their format Uh, the formats are uh, some of the suggested formats are there in tally okay excel pdf csv it depends on the bank it depends on the bank okay so matthew joseph how to import to be data directly uh, to be data uh, tally 3.0 offered reconciliation but importing data uh, you, we have to get the um, ways out okay right so alama Uh, can we import stock quantities and corresponding values that's possible yeah. that's possible right okay that's possible try my uh, try with my uh, material that's possible okay recording will be there in the portal can we get this pdf definitely already deleted and uh, add 10 items okay oh right okay so rajnik okay right um yeah okay um is it possible to can convert the existing data of balance sheet yeah that's possible that's possible but schedule three format uh, you have to you have to configure okay then what values are sold in sales sales trend whether net value or gs net value yeah. net value okay moksik can we import third party format instead of manual entry but that's uh, possible no uh, where you get the uh, problem I don't, i don't understand right can we import entry of bank statement also that's possible okay bank reconciliation uh, is for excel statement only no pdf csv okay and two three other formats are there okay i'm asking for the same data with two financial years sandeep ji that's possible okay open two uh, financial years and compare company okay right okay then please post uh, ca whatsapp link okay 
So, uh, yeah, okay. How can we do that? Please touch on the example only. Palas Dutta, your support center is not able to do this. Uh, support center has uh, many senior people. Okay. Try it again. Ask them to connect with senior people. Okay. We have enough people there. Okay. Don't worry. The support center is uh, active and uh, support center can solve all your problems. Just believe and uh, call them. Okay. So, very good session. Appreciate. Thank you. Okay. Comparison of data for two financial in single database that we have to check here. That we have to check. Okay. Moksik Shah, third party format instead of manual. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll try to. Okay. Then uh, Sakil Akhtar. Um, link, uh, okay. Recording will get updated. Okay. Okay. I'll just share the link uh, okay. where the community okay. portal okay. will be uploaded. Okay. okay. Right. So I think uh, all the questions are answered. Yeah, answered. Okay. One almost, second. almost. <laughs> yeah, mother, of course. So many questions are pouring in. So we will oh, do. Yeah. So the okay. audience, if you, the questions are unanswered, we will definitely organize more sessions on 4.2 where you can clear as uh, time is a constraint. Uh, so I will now conclude the session. Before that, a very important task of uh, thanking Abhichi, sir. For the first time, product demo seemed actually like a movie session. <laughs> it was super good and super innovative, sir. The way you you could make it so interesting and so lively. And the FAQs are basically made up by you and answered by you. That was the hero of the session. And the pouring compliments, definitely, as you could see. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, people asking for the recording, I will make sure that the recording gets uh, uploaded in a day or two so that you can make the best and refer it for all the thing. And you can also forward it to your friends. And please stay tuned at the CA Connect where we are going to uh, do more sessions on 4.0. Thank you, Avichi, sir. I will now right. conclude the session. Thank you, Anadar.